Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make my dried rabbit ears. They are a fantastic treat for the dog. Now I was out yesterday ferreting. I've already done some of these ears from yesterday's rabbits. So I've got two rabbit ears and all I've done obviously cut them off but just give them a rinse underneath the tap and then patted them dry with some kitchen roll. And I like to do mine the following day after ferreting because they, they get hung in my chiller. And it just lets all the fleas and all that stuff kind of come off. The cooking process will obviously kill any nasty things. But I like to give them a rinse as well and a pat dry just in case there's any bits of mud or anything. So this is really simple. It's a good way to use up the byproduct so nothing is wasted. So it doesn't matter how many ears you get. This is the tray I use. It's my own tray because obviously I can't use the kitchen trays. Partner might go a little bit mad. So, like I said, once they're washed and patted dry, you just place the ears on a little bit of greaseproof paper and place them in the oven on a lowest setting, about 100, 110 degrees, and you pop them in the oven for one hour. Well, the rabbit ears are cooked off. As you can see, they look teeny tiny because they do shrink by about half. But they're dried out, as you can hear, the dried out treat. And this is why I normally do a lot of rabbit's ears at once. I'm not going to keep cooking off two, but I've done two just for the video. But if you don't get many rabbits, um, but you want to still dry out the ears, my advice would be get your fresh ears, vacuum pack them, or put them in a sandwich bag and you can freeze them. They freeze absolutely fine. And then when you've got a good amount, you can dry them all off. But once they're dried like this, you can keep these in a kilner jar with a good sealed lid, or you can vacuum pack them into little portions. And these will keep for weeks, months. But obviously these two I've done today, Clove will probably have shortly. But there you have it guys. This is my way of drying out rabbit ears for the dog.